What's up YouTube, it's Fitzbro, and I am hope you're excited to dig into this Italian civilization here with the Knights of the Mediterranean DLC. And I wanted to go over my opening build order that has been pretty good for me. Um, I've been consistently winning with this strategy for just getting my economy started for the game. And there have been a little bit tweaked, some cards have been moved around. Even since some of my recent videos, they have been uh, tweaking the balance of cards and shipments and all of that. So I want to show you you know, here as of at least uh, May 20th, what I'm doing for an opening, and I think it'll get you to be in a pretty good spot. So things to know, the Italians start with an economic unit, the Architect. This can build any building for free, but it costs production time. So I could build a market, it's going to take 80 seconds, but I can spend wood and actually speed that up. So what I like to do is place my market first, and then once it costs 50 wood to speed it up, I will spend that 50 wood, because you start off with two wood crates. Now I want to speed that up because with the Italians, every technology you research, you get one free villager. So they don't have any villager shipments, but this is the way you can do that. So for me, I've been going for all of the uh, techs at my market, and sometimes this is influenced by uh, some of these treasures that I can pick up, depending on which ones I'm going to get as far as I may even get steel traps you know, in the first age. So let's get started here. I'm going to unpause. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down that market. I said as close as possible. I don't want to get in the range of those deer because it's going to mess up with my villager pathing. Pick up my first treasure, get my villager in queue. And then I like to grab the wood crates because uh, I'm going to, as I said, speed up this market here just shortly. I'm going to shift click so I have that house ready to go. Start getting my explorer moving on out. Okay, looking good. And now I'm going to actually put a villager on to gold because I want 50 gold in order to get hunting dogs right away. And usually you can find a 40, sometimes you get lucky you can find a 40 gold treasure. In this case I didn't, so I'll, I'll chop a little bit more. That's not a big deal. But you want to get 50 gold, so pay attention to the treasures you have around. Uh, there's a hundred coin. Man, I could probably get that. I'll actually probably pick that up here in a second. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. There we go, 39 wood, you see I sped that up, and then I'm going to get the first tech in queue. There we go, uh, we don't have the 50 gold yet, so we're just going to get our hunting dogs. Okay, I'm actually going to go take on this gunman, because this is 100 coins going to be very valuable treasure. Okay, so we've got the 50 gold we need, I'm going to pull off of there, and now my guys are all going to go to food. There we go. And then I'm going to get hunting dogs. So, again, if you start with a gold treasure, you might be able to get hunting dogs as your first one, which is ideal, but not big of a deal if you don't. Okay, so we get hunting dogs, uh, now we do blunderbuss. These usually cost, you know, they only cost a little bit of food, so it's not a big deal to get that. You're going to have that ready to go. Okay, let's start working on this. You can snipe one of these gunmen, the other one you can just shoot down. Just make sure your opponent doesn't snipe it. That'll be 100 coin. That'll be nice so I can get the uh, steel traps here after I send my first shipment. Okay, so let's look at my main deck here, and I'm going to pause it just so you can... We can talk about it. The first card I like to send is Capitalism. This gives you a gold trickle for the rest of the game. Uh, so this is going to be a nice first shipment. Um, and then it's kind of up to you what you want to do for the second shipment. Sometimes I'll do Advanced Politicians. Now this makes you age up faster and makes all politicians ship extra re rewards. What does that mean? If you age up with a Trade Post Wagon, you're going to get two Trade Post Wagons. If you age up with one, a Lombard and a Villager, you're going to get two Lombards, two Villagers. Um, but what I have been doing recently, if I like to have a lot of pressure in the second age, is I'll save that next shipment and I send 700 wood right away so I can just really start spamming out whether it's trade post, stagecoach, uh, barracks, uh, crossbows. I think uh, spamming a lot of provinciers are very good in the second age. So, but anyway, we're going to start with capitalism. And then for this game, I will start with advanced politicians just to show you. Okay, we're going to keep this going. All my villagers going to food. I'm going to get this gunman and that'll work work nicely because I'm going to get all of these technologies. There we go. Capitalism. We'll make sure I have the gold I'm going to need actually to get steel traps. If you look at this wood we have left, it's going to be perfect. And if you build these right away and shift click them, you don't even have to pay extra for the house. But a lot of times you end up needing to. Okay, so we'll see if we how that timing run works out. Look how close this is. Five seconds. So I'm going to actually pay that extra just to speed that up because I don't want to be idle at my town center. But if you do it fast enough with no walking time, you can actually... Uh, Get it without speeding it up. And keep your deer nice and close to your town center. Uh, you know, I, when in doubt, I try to kill them right underneath before they walk away so you don't end up with some awkward situations. Um, okay, so my architect has finished the house. Now he's going to put start working on that first trade post there. Actually, this is another good one to pick up. You can take out the uh, Marauding Langschnick 
and you can uh, just shoot at the musketeer. This is going to be great. 100 XP. That's a huge treasure to pick up, actually. Okay, unpause. Okay, so you see I'm getting all of my techs right now. Uh, I'm actually going to wait and get to that. There we go. I got steel traps. So I'll probably pick up the placer mines there in transition. Um, if I pick up wood, I could possibly get it now, but I don't have a wood treasure. If I had maybe uh, picked up a 50 wood treasure, I could have chopped a little bit more. But for now, that's pretty good. We've got almost all the technologies. I'm going to age up with 17 villagers. Right now, we're just past the three minute mark. And I'm talking through this. All this has actually a little bit of room for improvement. Uh, you know, if you build this closer, don't do walking time. Uh, really minimize your villager walking seconds. And you can do a lot here. We're going to lose that last year, but that's okay. Okay, so here we go. We've got 18 villagers. This is pretty good. We're at about the three minute and uh, about 35 seconds. Now let's look at our age up options. Okay, so uh, let's pause the game. The age up options here for the second age. Now consider the fact that I sent the card that gives us additional uh, additional buildings for all uh, improved politicians, right? So I'm going to get two outpost wagons instead of one so two outposts 200 coin this can be really nice for taking you know age up two outposts in now this map's got a river it's kind of hard but on an open map you know you can place those two outposts in a forward position and you're going to really be set up nice for a forward base and some map control um, over your opponent um, some other options here you do a crate of 750 food i mean you can either you know ship this wood right away in the next age you're gonna have all this food and you can just spam out double racks uh crossbows probably here uh, or you know maybe you want to do some kind of uh fast fortress and you're just going to use all that food there's a few natives that will actually give you your age up bonus again uh which can be uh super nice let's see if any of these guys have it uh let's see we've got the house of Whittlesbach. Uh, these guys don't have it um and then we have what's down here house of wetton uh this one actually has marriage politics makes age up 20 percent cheaper so take a look at all the techs and all the royal houses uh i've made some guides on i do two at a time so they're easy to digest where i go through everything inside the natives uh, but they can actually be quite valuable and you might be able to formulate you know an age one strategy where perhaps you ship wood and take these early on and i've seen uh mini multi actually would get this marriage politics uh, and get a cheaper age up and just do a super long age one with all the upgrades. Anyways, uh, capitalism followed by advanced politicians. Here's some of your age up options. You can see some of the other ones. I typically uh, have been going with the two outposts or the crates. Two settlers and a Lombard. You think that's going to be nice, but I don't know. Two settlers just doesn't feel like enough for me for an age up. It, it's good, but you can instantly get so much resources out of this. Um, I've been just kind of leaning toward this, but it's kind of up to you. Uh, but these are kind of where my preference lie in general, but this can also be a good one to do. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead. And we're going to age up. I'm going to do the two outposts. I'm going to unpause. Now here in transition, the second you age up, you need to be focused on what do I need to get my other techs? Okay, so I need wood. So I'm going to pull all my villagers to get wood because I want to get this as soon as possible. And I'm also going to get log flume. You don't typically get log flume, uh, but uh, it's going to equal a villager for me. And I'd be picking up other treasures. I might possibly lose my explorer because I'm a noob. Oh, maybe we'll get away with it. His villagers are attacking me. Um, there we go. Okay, so uh, we've got our first tech. Now what's left to get is log flume. We're getting 150 food and 250 gold. So we've got that trickle of gold coming in. Uh, and then you want to send your villagers out and start herding in those uh, those outside hunts. So there's t one here. There's one here. There's typically two or three you want to start working in. There we go. I got one coming in. I'll get this one coming in. Oh my gosh, why is he <laughs> chasing me? Okay, and look at this. We'll be able to get this log flume almost right on schedule here. I could have even, you know, put another villager on that. And there we got it. Um, the last one to get is Algamation. Uh, that's going to cost 200 food. And that's one I could debate on waiting till later if you don't want it. I mean, that is expensive. You probably want to use that 200 wood on something. Uh, so I'll, I'll actually hold off for this. Okay, so... Um, we just hit the next age. Let's get our villagers in queue. Let's pick up our resources. And look at this. Now you can just like right away drop down a barracks. Uh, and then I'm going to drop down a second trade post. And your first one will be just about done by now. Look at that. Nine seconds left. I'm, I, I, spayed, I spent the extra wood just to get that. And then I'm going to actually, I buy the house a lot of times just because, uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be, uh, a house. So. If I wasn't talking there, I would have got that quick enough. But uh, there we go. We're, we got our barracks down. We got our house. I'm going to build another house here. And, I mean, let's pause it for a second. 
we're, we're at, at the five minute 30 second mark we've got a barracks we've got two trade posts online essentially you can see how much wood i'm bringing in i've got that gold you can even use it i don't usually use my gold right away in the second age so you can use that to I sometimes uh, i'll buy wood like perhaps like for this i might want to get stagecoach right away so i might buy the wood and just get that stagecoach in queue um, but i can start queuing up these prophets here um i usually will open you know kind of scout see what the opponent's doing if they're making infantry i'll just go straight into crossbow um but if i think there might be some cavalry i might start with musketeer and then i'll very quickly um, here we go, our first shipment here. Uh, also in the 700 wood. Now, keep in mind, I did pick up some nice ex experience treasures. But um, if you don't want to go for advanced politicians first, you can just immediately ship the 700 wood. Or maybe you want to do a really fast fortress for some reason. You immediately ship the 700 gold. I think it's in your interest to play a little bit of H2 just because you hit H3. Yes, you can send two Falconets, but. Your shipments here, these are age two shipments, right? This, these privacy areas are not going to be upgraded if you haven't you know, invested in this barracks, trained a few units, they can come up and idle you. You're not going to have, if they if they show up with 10 Hussars, there aren't any Italian shipments you're going to send here that's going to stop cavalry from idling your entire economy. Um, this is, you know, maybe your best option, but I mean, there might be some other mercenary or outlaw shipments, but in general, um, I think it's in your interest to play a little bit H2. Don't go for a blind fast uh, fortress just because of the fact you don't have a ship to deal with if they go pure cavalry. Okay, so in a nutshell, uh, that is my opening with the Italians. Just to recap, very beginning, I take my architect, which is my free uh, free economic unit. I build my market, uh, shift click onto a house, and typically I would build that like right here, but my hunt was just kind of in the way. You want to minimize that walking time. When it hits about 50 wood, uh, as far as the cost to speed this up, spin that, get that down, uh, look to see if there's a gold treasure you can grab because you want 50 gold and 50 wood to get hunting dogs first. Um, you saw I put three villagers on the gold till I gathered that, which is fine. I actually started with great coats until I had the gold, but if you can get it in time, you can get hunting dogs as your first tech, which is ideal. So get hunting dogs, get great coats, get your blunderbuss, and then get all of those upgrades there uh, in the first age. Um, I left, I think there's only one of them for when I was in, uh, one or two for when I was in transition. So you can go for a weather extended age up with a lot of villagers and your economy is going to be really booming card orders you're going to send capitalism followed by either advanced politicians or you can save it and go for wood first or perhaps even gold first if you wanted to do some kind of uh, fast fortress and then other shipments to be aware of here in the second age uh these two cards broken lands company and croatian company these are very very powerful units this sends you three papal lancers and astradia this is a, essentially an age three shipment i would not be surprised if this is nerfed even uh before release but it, it may not might not be um so this is a very very strong ship and i know it's expensive it costs 12 population uh but it, it's going to be very powerful hand cavalry units. And then Croatian company, you get those Krabats and the Schiavoni. And I particularly want to draw attention to Schiavoni. These are counter infantry, uh, light infantry. So they have a, a great range. They have a two times multiplier of, I think it's two times or it's something around that uh, multiplier versus other infantry. So crossbows, skirmishers, etc. And they also have an infantry, uh, a multiplier versus a heavy infantry. So you can just keep kiting back uh, with the Schiavoni. They are very good. Um, and those Krabats are, are good uh, cavalry units. So there you go. That's my Italian opening. Let me know if you've got any questions down in the comments or if there's anything else you want to see. Um, I'm make, I've got plenty of other guides on the channel for the Royal Houses, uh, Civilization Overviews for both Malta and Italy. And I'll be doing more build orders and strategy guides as we get closer to release of this DLC for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take a second and hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I will see you in the next one.